Hello guys, welcome again um, to another lesson. This time our lesson is going to be on text editing. We're going to look at three different functions here. Left function, right function, and um, learn function. First of all, you need to understand these three keywords. String operation. String operation is the manipulation of a string. Yeah, just you can cut different parts of a string of the whole string. And then text string is a sequence of characters. For example, this password here is a text string. Yeah, it's a sequence of characters. And macro is a small program that carries out instructions to perform a particular task. Sometimes there are one task that we perform regularly and we can create a macro, macro which can perform this task for us. So we're going to look at how to create macro. So let's look at um, the editing spreadsheets provide a number of string operations function that can be used to trim characters from the start or the end of a string of text. Yeah, there are three main ones we're going to look at. The left function, right function, and LEN function. So let's look at it. Uh, left function first. Let's say, let's look at, let's write this word here, spreadsheet, or can be anything. Uh, and how do we use left function to manipulate this um, string here? The left function, we use it to remove some string, some character from the left side of this text. So equal sign left. We, we highlight the string we want to manipulate and we want six characters from the left. And then we go spread there. Okay. So that's, that is very easy. We can even we can either we can either highlight the string and use the cell referencing, or we can write we can write the string itself, but it should be in the code. A sheet should be in the code, comma, and then we want six. And the left, we see for the same. Okay. We do the same thing with the right. Again, equal sign, right function. We want from this part here, we want say five, five characters from the right. If we got sheet there, yeah, it's very, very simple. L E N means length. We use that to count how many characters a string has got in um, all together. So equal sign, then we highlight it, and then we press enter for 11. So this is very easy. You can use that to manipulate text. The next one we're going to look at is outline. Out, outline. Um, 
Outlining is one of the best way of making your data more manageable. Yeah. You can use it to automatically add subtotal or to group certain rows or columns together and also to hide some details that you do not need to see. Okay. Before you create an outline, you need, you, you need to create a subtotal to sort the, your, your data. The subtotal command is found on the data tab, which is the subtotal command is here. So I'm going to show you how to use this. So if, if you look at this data here, the spreadsheet, you got data for 2007 and then 2008. We might want to just manipulate or as M, you might want to just um, do something with the 2007 data for that bothering ourselves with the 2008. For example, you might want to find the average rainfall in 2007, but we don't need to see the 2008 data. That's where the outlining comes in. It helps us to put um, parts of data in different groups so we can say so to be easier to manage. So to do that, we go to data, we go to subtotal. What have we got? Oh, yes. You must always click in the data we're trying to manage. So data, then subtotal. This um, this is the columns. Yeah, we need to choose which columns are which column do we want to put in a different group. This time I'm gonna put the year column. Yes, that's why I set the year there. And what do I want to do? Am I going to sum or count or find the average? In the year column, I'm going to analyze the rainfall column. Yes, so I've taken the rainfall. What do I want to do with that rainfall? I want to find the average. So I'll take the average there. Yeah. Okay. So in the year column, and, and I want to analyze the rainfall, the average rainfall. That's what I want. That's it. So I click OK. As you can see, the data has now been split up, put in different groups. We've got 2007 parts here, and I've got the average quite here. And in 2008, got the average, and the average of total ground average is there. So I've got three set of information here. We have the average for each group, and then the ground average, and then everything all together. And now that's why I got this number say one, two, three. If I click on number one, I got the ground average. I click on two, I got the average for each group and the ground average. I click on three, and I've got the whole thing there. So that's how to use the outline. Yeah, now let's jump on to macro. So macro is just a recorder which will record something we do all the time. So next time we are required to perform the same, the same task, we just call our macro to do it for us. For example, let's say you work in an office and your, or your boss always give you data like this and he wants you or she wants you to put it like this. Yeah. The names are in the same column. Your boss wants to put in that split it up and then highlight anybody who has got some balance to pay. Running red. Yeah. Maybe this one uh, 
you've been doing all the time, but you say, hang on, I need to find a way. I don't want to keep doing this every day. So what can I do to make life easier for me? So you got your data with this like this. So you're going to find, you're going to create a macro to record what you're doing. All right. So at the top here, you can say developer. Normally you will not say there. Yeah. When you open your spreadsheet, you will not say developer. So what you need to do, you go to file, options, customize ribbon, the right hand side developer. If I untick it, I go to OK, you see that it's not there. So this is what you will say when you open your spreadsheet. So to bring it up, you go to file, options, customize ribbon and then you must tick developer then it will appear up there so now when we click on it we can see macro there so now we're going to record what we're going to do you click on macro record macro and usually it's good idea to name our macro give it a reasonable name so we know what it does. We're going to format this data. So let's call our macro formatting. Okay. The good thing about this is, is we can also give your macro a shortcut. Yeah, control and something. So let's put F there. So when you press control F, it would perform the task for us. Then, okay, we can also describe the macro, what it does. Okay, so now it's recording. So what we do, let's insert another column. You want to call this one first name. And last name. So now let's split this up. Data, text to file, then delimited. You can see that the name has been separated using space. And space, if we take a space, we move the, this from there, go to next, and then we are done. We've done the first part. And the boss want us to highlight anything that's not zero we click on it home conditional formatting highlight anything greater than zero put it in red and we are done so now let's stop our macro stop it that's it now we're gonna test it we're going to test it. Let's say we got the same data here, same data, and then we copy it. We put it on one sheet here. Yeah, it's of doing, doing this again. We go, we go to developer, we click on macros. Now we want the macro that's it's called formatting. We click on it and then we run it. That's it. It's done. It's done the job for us. Yeah. We could have pressed. Let's press it. Let's put it here and, and try the shortcut. We want to try the shortcut on. We use which our shortcut was control. F, I think, yeah, right, let's do control F. This I think, control F, I see, control F. Now it's done, our shortcut is working as well. Yeah, so macro is brilliant thing. We can, another thing we can do with macro is we can assign, we can create a button and, as, you know, and assign a macro to that button. So we can also click 
on the button and it will work. So to get a button, go to developer, insert button, and then, and then we draw the button somewhere there. Yeah, so this will pop up. So we select which macro are you going to assign to the button? Okay. Um, we click on that one. It's for formatting. Okay. Okay. So we can. We can. Call this button formatting. The for formatting. And sometimes when you're writing it anyway, you you can figure that one out to remove. Just call the button for formatting. Now, let's see if the button will work. Yeah, it's done again. It's, I'm gonna click on it and say. So if I remove. If I remove this from there and I bring on the data again, put it there, and I click on the button, voila, the button is working. So you can create a button, assign the um, macro to the button, or you click on it and it will perform the task for you. Yeah, right. So guys, just look at the video and try to complete the task I have set in Microsoft Teams. And if you get stuck at any point, as usual, you get back to me and then we will go through again. All right, take care.